Sir Ramon. Uh, so yeah, this is usually blades and beers, uh, pero masyado pang maaga, kaya in this case, kape muna ako. Uh, <laughs> so yung parang ginawa rin namin last time, cutting edge and uh, coffee na lang. Pero para hindi ako mawala dun sa team ng alak, uh, Jim Bean yung coffee ko ngayon. Para, <laughs> okay. para may alak pa rin. <laughs> All right, yun. Thank you. Thank you so much for ano, accepting my invitation. Actually, matagal ko na rin gusto ng gawin to. Uh, kasi isa sa mga pages na gustong gusto kong puntahan sa Facebook, yung grupo ng ito, ano, yung sa Balisong Batangas. Um, before I started recording, no, para lang alam ng mga tao, I think it's common din naman na isipin ng mga tao when you think blades and when you think Batangas, automatically, Balisong yung naiisip ng mga tao. Uh, but more often than not, um, hindi na-understand yung culture o yung value ng importance nito. Um, more often than not, ang tingin ng tao sa kanya is a souvenir item from the area. Um, kaya, I don't know, parang I wanted to focus on this also kasi medyo maganda rin yung nagawa ng group for uh, bringing back the importance of the balisong. So sir, ano, can can we have siguro maybe an, as an initial question like what was your background? Um uh, I guess I can say with blades in general kasi I can see the man cave behind you ng <laughs> tingnan ng collection. So siguro blades in general tapos paano napunta yung hilig sa balisong? Okay. Uh I grew up in the province of Batangas. Eh. I'm a pure-blooded Batanganian. My mom is from Kalaka. My dad is from San Nicolas, sa tabing ilog, and we grew up with blades, not because we collect, but it's part of necessities. Eh. Uh, magbubukid ang anak namin, and there are only 10 kinds of blades that I grew up and saw in yung kampit, and the longer blades, we call it gulok. And then we use uh, asada or asarol. And then we have uh, the, the smaller, the smaller axe. And then we have the palakol. Uh, we use dulos, the one when we call it the the palisong. Palisong is a is a is a an ini karutong ng buhay ng bawat batang you like. Up, even up to now, people carry because it's very it's a utility tool than a weapon. Sa sa provincia namin sa sa pansipit, uh, I, I recall during my younger years, ano yun eh, pagkaligo namin sa ilog, uh, pag uwi mo ng bahay, papipilahin ka ng mga lola, and they will cut our nails using uh, balisong in one stroke. So it's really more of a utility tool than a weapon. So having grown with us seeing blades and using it, na nakasanayan na, nakalakihan na, na hanggang ngayon, me at age 54, like I cannot leave the house without it. Parang kulang yung buhay ko <laughs> pag wala akong dala nito. Oh, oh. Good. Yeah, very nice background. No? So talaga nung bata ka pa, was your first ever balisong an acquisition or bigay sa'yo? Do you still have it? Ay, oo. Parang uh, sa, sa maliit na klan namin, you earn your balisong. Like, when you turn 13, then you're you're allowed by the elders to carry. Pero during that time, I, I recall I was in grade 3, iba yung subjects namin on during elementary. There's a subject we call practical arts. And what was being taught back then were skills. It's more skills development. So we were made to make baskets. We were taught about practical electricity. And in grade three, ang, ang subject namin is all about gardening. And being raised uh, from a poor family, I, I envied the, my classmates who were bringing the orange trowels complete with scissors and stuff. <laughs> I have nothing. I only have a, a dulos. <laughs> The, the eggplants, uh, that's part of the contest. 
And then we were taught that we cannot pull the, the harvest or the, the eggplant from the trunk. And you need to cut it either with scissors or very sharp objects. But I only have a dulo. So I went home and I was crying. I was telling my mom, the, the rich kids have all those colorful trowels and I have nothing to cut my harvest. So I cannot participate in the heaviest weight alone for the eggplant. And then my dad said, why don't you bring one of the, the unsharpened balisong? And, and I still have this. This is my first balisong. I was grade three when I got this. I lost this. Hindi ko na alam ko saan napunta until I saw it in my mom's uh, parang bowl eh, of, of, of blades. Unknowingly, kinuha ko di alam and we used them in an eggplant. It's a very small one, but back then when I was in grade three, this was big to me. So I kept every, every blade that I have had, and up to now, I still treasure this. So this was my first blade. Ganda, ganda, yeah. I love those stories, eh. Yung mga first blades na ganda. <laughs> so much history. Um, oh. Yeah, so yeah, through the years, did you just acquire and acquire more Bali songs also? Na mga variations over the years? Aside from the other plates behind? Um, or just... <laughs> <laughs> and siguro, uh, every, I, 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 really, I really save a lot eh, to buy quality Bali songs. Mm. And when I was in high school, this was my Bali song. This is a a special, uh, ordinary, sorry, this is an ordinary balisong. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the tubo, pero cheap pa to dahil this is made of aluminum, not yet brass. But back, back then, this is what I can afford. And hanggang ngayon, while <laughs> it has served its purpose, sobrang ano na, but I still kept it and treasure it. Uh, it's part of my collection. And then eventually, uh, minsan nabibigyan ng mga uncle, Although others nawala na, hindi ko na nalaman eh. Pero tanda ko yun when mom said that when you graduate from college, you're able to provide for yourself. You can buy anything that you want from money. Ni isang singkong diling, hindi kami aasa sa inyo. But you need to finish college. Yun lagi ang sabi ng mga ng inay. So sabi ko, nung nakapagtrabaho na ako first time, ah, uh, Unang sweldo ko yon. So sabi ko sa mami, mami, sisiguraduhin ko lang na kahit ano po, pwede ko lang bilhin. She said, yes, you can buy anything. So the first thing that I bought was this one. Hindi ko binili. Pinagawa ko ito kay Kaboy. <laughs> Boy Almazan. It's uh, 69 inches. Bastusin ang tawag nila dito na. Hindi pa dyan siya. Uh-huh. This was back in 1986. Uh, hindi pa din siya ang tawag na dito, bastusin dahil mahaba, tapos 69 pa. Yeah, so this was the first one I bought and I was so proud to bring home to mom. Mom, ito na po ang una kong madili sa sweldo ko. <laughs> so mad. Talagang puro kurot ang inabot ko para sa alit na bumili ka ng damit, sa bumili ka ng sapatos, so, hindi po kahit ano pwede rin. Eh. So this was my first buy. It's a 69 inches balisong from Kaboy. Nasa ano pa sila nun? Nasa and, sa and Buli. Nasa Buli pa sila nun. So, and, and from there, I kept on buying the same with you every time I have friends, very good friends, dahil I don't give balisong just like that. Kasi sa aming batang genyo, pag nagbigay ka ng balisong, it only means that we are honoring the person through the blade. So it's not just a gift. Kaya malaking bawas sa amin o malaking sama ng loob sa amin na mababalitaan namin na pinamigay mo or binenta mo. You know, to people I really care about. So katulad sa mga brothers ko na nagkatrabaho na ako, I gave them one each ng pinaka-special na and it's all the same. Unfortunately, alam namin na sa Batangas yun, eh, hindi pa lang namin makita but I bought each and every one of them. So doon nagsimula siguro yung uh, pangulit ako pero unlike where I am right now, siguro dumami na lang ng dumami to dahil sa Balisong Batangas. Yeah. Alright. Amazing. Yeah, it's a good thing there. You mentioned yung group, yung Balisong Batangas. So what came about na parang what started it for you? Um, what made you create the group? And parang what are the 
Parang what was your objective for creating it to begin with? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I, I was a member of Balisong Pilipinas back then. Eh. Uh, wala man akong balak magtayo ng Balisong Batangas. Eh. But I, I was very vocal about my intentions because personally and professionally, I help a lot of communities uh, outside of the Blades group. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, initiatives that I personally spearhead uh, for community. I help a lot of community. So I um, ITAC, ITAC stands for Iniingatang Talimat Kaluban. There, it's a page for uh, for Filipino blades. And I've been helping uh, Pandais uh, from, from concept to marketing to product uh, improvement. And then came the pandemic. Nung nasa BP pa ako, I was very vocal about my intentions of what I wanted to do. Kasi everybody kept saying, uh, malagi mo na lang maririnig yan eh. Balisong uh, industry is a dying industry. Which, technically, it's a fading industry. Uh, kaya ang sinasabi ko sa kanila nun, I, I'd like to help by introducing new concepts and helping the, the big houses or the valley houses. Uh, and, and, until Balisong Pilipinas, uh, gusto ko saan gawin. So I thought of putting up uh, Balisong Batangas, which centers on three uh, major advocacies, which is one, cultural, dahil ako ba? talagang batanggan nyo. I'd like to protect that culture as much as I can through that blade. And then community, whatever I can do, because there, if I can help uh, pandais that I do not even know, and now they're making, they're doing very well, why can't I do it for uh, the industry that I, I am passionate about? And then brotherhood. Uh, brotherhood would be getting people to understand the beauty of the blade and letting the blade work for them, parang tipong ganon. So, binuo namin yung maliit na ito. We started with well, parang 100 lang yata kami, and today we are at 5,600, whose sole purpose is really to introduce new things. Now, when I say introduce new things, what I did is to talk to every Bali houses that I know. Uh, si Abes, Manong Leivera, Liza, Manong Dado, uh, ang, mag, ang magpinsan na almasan. Pinuntahan ko isa-isa eh. And I told the artists, patanda ng patanda. Tapos walang bagong pumapalit. And we're taking that as a fact. So if it comes to a point na wala nang bagong artisans or, or panday na napahilig dito, magkakatuto yung sinasabi ko na mamamatay, yung sinasabi na na mamamatay yung negosyo. Sabi ko, what are we going to do about it? And they're saying na, ayaw na kasi ng mga bata dahil uh, nagtatrabaho na sa opisina, ayaw na nila ng craftsman work. Sabi ko, baka kaya ayaw nila dahil mas pinikita nila sa opisina kaysa paggagawa ng balisong. Sabi ko naman, pwede naman tayo magtaas ng prices. Pero, the bill that we need to make are those that we can we can proudly say na gawang batangas to. Na kahit 5,000, 6,000 babayan. One of the Bali houses, the first Bali houses that accepted my challenge is a best si magkapatid na Ace, si Ace at si Abet, and back then, the, the late in I, Nay Selly, sabi niya, sige, tingnan natin kung ano yung pinagsasasabi mo. So sabi ko, there are 12 designs I'm going to, to, to ask you to make, and this goes back, yung mga balisong na natatandaan ko yung itsura, and some of them naman, yung mga bagong design na sa palagay ko, magiging appealing for collectors and the, the, the younger ones, dahil if we, if we stick to the four classic blades, uh, we have the uh, we have the tinari, we have the uh, bayoneta, we have the kris, and we have the labaha. Sabi ko kung hindi na ito appealing, paano ito yung mga bata na may hilig na sa mga folders na makikita mo, medyo tactical na yung concept. Uh-huh. So <laughs> we built uh, uh, 12 and we launched it. Alam ko, the time... Parang sa Balisong Pilipinas ko pa na-launch yung ipay. And then the rest sa Balisong Batangas na. So we build 12 and that create parang, it create parang spark na parang nakita nila, oh nga no, may umu-order na sa akin ito. So totoo na pwede talagang uh, lumakas pa or dumamihin, diversified pa yung products. And we can make more out of it for the price of 4500 Na dati yung 3-5 nila, ngayon bibili na ng 4-5. Yung extra money ngayon na yun, parang sinasabi nga nila sa makers na, gandahan nyo pa, bilisan pa natin ang gawa, madami pa tong kasunod, 
and then I think that started the 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 the, the surge ng orders ngayon among the Bali houses, which I think is a very simple initiative. It is it was meaningful. Siguro ganun nag ganun nag evolve yung balisang Batangas, and and after a year, kung mapapansin yung mga yon, yung dating two weeks to one month na build ida abot ng yon two months to three months, it only means mas madami ng mga tao ang napahilip just because of a, a simple spark that, that we gave the community. So dun na evolve yung balisang Batangas. Yeah, ang galeng, ang galeng. I have to say. Um, Siguro isa ako doon sa mga na na affect noon yung sa movement na yun ng sinasabi mo na before nga na I was admittedly I'm I'm more into pocket knives tapos mas natitipuhan ko yun rather than the locals but I've always had body songs with me uh, it looked very normal until ito nga yung search ng start ng pandemic biglang nakikita ko yung sa group kakaiba yung mga designs so mas lalo mo <laughs> mas lalo tuloy akong ginanahan so it's like I'm praising you and I'm annoyed at you at the same time kasi ang dami kong gustong bilhin ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's amazing. Tapos na mga kasi uma-up na uma-up yung quality and at the same time yun nagugustuhan ko doon lalo ng mga tao. And it's a beautiful thing. Galing, galing. So I give you kudos to that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right about now, sir, Sigura, we can show, since you mentioned earlier, the 12 uh, initial designs, maybe we can have a run-through. I'll focus the camera on you so we can have a better view. Okay. There, let's focus. <laughs> Sige. I have, I have certain favorites. Eh. And um, Sigura, ito yung una namin na ginawa. Dalawa tong una, this and this. Well, let me start with this one. Ito kasi, ito yung baon. Ang baon, ibig sabihin, these are the inlays na nung panahon ng araw, dalawa lang yan eh. Hanggang sa dumami na nang dumami yan, sa tanda ko. I, I recall yung oldest ko kasi, ito pa lang siya dati. Ganyan lang kakonti. Hanggang sa dumami na nang dumami yan, hanggang naging labing dalawa na. So labing dalawa, yun lang ang tanda ko na inabot ng baon. There may be more, but at 54, this is what I can recall. So we did this, This is made by Abest. Uh, yung yung pinakabaon niya na colors, clay lang yung ginamit ko pa dyan. Kasi back in time, ayaw pang pumayag ni, ng inay Selly na may baon na may ibang kulay. Eh. Sabi ko, sige, wag mo na lagyan ako na maglalagay. But ngayon, totoong baon na yung ginagamit nila. It's a plastic thingy. And this is a... Uh, this is a alaba pero may touch ng ano, pagkabuyod or dibuyod. It's a 29 cm full brass. And this is the first of the two. And the second one was this. Ito yung old school panarapa, ang tawag namin. Old school tarangka pa yan eh. They only use wire. Uh, mas mabilis kasi siyang i-flip when, when you are engaged. Compared dun sa isa na minsan nag, na, nagsasara pa yan dito eh. So ito yung lumang panara in an old blade. And patid na A-Best ni Ace saka ni Abet at Chenza. Ang tawag nila dito ay stick. Nung panahon nakapilyuhan pa ng dalawang yan, madami nagkakaira dyan sa talbatang kas na may inga yung mufflers eh. Ang ginagawa ng magkapatid na loko-lokong yan, binubutas nila yung nakapark para huwag sila makapag-drag race doon sa ano. And eventually, the design became uh, love. And eventually, I think all Bali houses are making this now. Ipinair ko na lang to doon sa old style na, na tarangka. So these are the first two uh, I have. And then back, 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 in, back last year, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat na balisong before were made of carabao horns eh. Uh, carabao horns, yung black. And then, nakahingi ako kay, kay AJ, ng AJ Blade Reviews ng sungay ng albino. So this was the first albino build as far as I, I can recall sa buong taal, na ayaw tanggapin ng inay dahil sabi nila, hindi pwedeng gamitin bolster dahil malambot lamang yung sungay. Sabi ko, pang collection naman eh, so pwede. Today, you would see a lot of bolsters using carabao horn or albino carabao horns. So this was the first build of that. 
I did pair this to a uh, an old bayonetta type. Kasi double edge to eh. Double edge pero bayonetta. And when I was growing up, I was very fond of double edge balisongs. So ito yung unang nilabas na ano. Ngayon, kalat na kalat na sa industriya yung paggamit ng uh, albino carabao horns. Ang kagandahan lang nito, ginamit ko yung natural curvatures or curves ng sungay, hindi ito ginrinder. So it worked perfect, perfectly well aesthetic-wise and it's lighter. Yun nga lang, kalaban ng carabao horns, pag ginamit yung bolster, this, this will tend to be soft. So if you stab on hard objects, mas madaling luluwag to compared dun sa mga brass bolsters or metal. So ito yung isang nilaunch namin sa dalawa. And then yung mga bagong design siguro, this is based, uh, this is the double, ano, uh, double, double fuller, yan. Double fuller, double edge. And then ito, dito rin namin inilaunch yung unang uh, banig-banig, ang tinawag na term ng makers dito, banig-banig. But the reason why it's like that, dahil ipinatter namin ito dun sa handle ng actual na bayonet. So this becomes a newer version of the bayonet, a double, a double fuller. And a lot of collectors I know have been engaging Abest uh, to buy this. And then meron kaming ginawa na pang akin lang. Of the 12 designs that I did, two of, uh, two of those, or in fact, two of those tama. Hindi ko bilik sa Abest yung design because I, I built this for my dad. Ito yung Dagul series namin ng ABS. Eh. Dagul because it's very, very thick yung housing. Sobrang kapal lang housing nito na even if you don't open it, kung marunong ka ng concept ng dulo-dulo, you don't open, you don't have to open your blade and this becomes a, a very blunt object that you could strike. So this is a, 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 a compelling design. Uh, tapos yung engraving, kami nung kaibigan ko yung nag-engrave nito, and the engraving is based on the compilant design of Sir Zell Umali. So ito, galing sa kanya yung design na to. Eh. May, uh, nagpaalam ako sa kanya para magamit. So this is Baldog 1, uh, a tribute to my dad, uh, believing that he's always the dad of our house. So Baldog 2 naman was uh, benchmark. This is a... Uh, naka nakakuha ako ng blade ni Sir Tani Shoson eh. At sobrang impressed ako sa blade dahil yun lagi yung bina, ginagamit ko sa bukid. Sobrang gaan. Uh, a tribute to a very good blade. Uh, I sent a copy of the photo I took and said, Sir Tani, sobrang bilib ako sa blade mo. Ginaya ko pero sa concept ng balisan. Which I think he was very happy about it. Tapos through this Baldog series, dito rin namin sinimulan i-introduce yung ano, Jimping. Ang tawag namin dito ay uh, we call this gulugod. <laughs> Nilagyan lang namin ng design yung gulugod. Uh, nakatuwa na namin gamitin term and I think the industry is now using the term gulugod. So this is like uh, Batangas Sinampalok pero ginunting ito sa ibang ano. Pero ganun din, baldog, ganun kakapal yung ano. So it's a heavy uh, it's a heavy tool and an object. And then when we were discussing, nung may nakita ako sa pandaya ng Abes, sabi ko, ano yung mga nakatapon na part? Madami silang itinatapon na part ng mulya. And they said, wala. Yun yung may mga bulutong. Reject. Sabi niya, yun ang problema namin dito. We buy per lot thinking that the entire span of the mulya is usable only to find out na may parts pala dun sa dulo na kinakain ng kalawa. Sabi ba't yung tinatapon? Sabi ko, yun ang problema natin sa industry. Dahil yung mga nakasanayan na natin, hindi tayo nag-iisip ng bagong Paraan, para magamit at walang masayang materyales. So sabi nila, ani namin yan, sabi ng inay. Sabi ko, gawa niyo ako ng balisong. Gawa niyo sa mga bulok na yan. Sabi ko, yung Baldog 3, gagamitin natin yung mga bulok na molly. Sabi ko, paano ang gagawin? So this came about. So eto na yung actual bulutong niya. Dahil may bulutong, dahil kinain na ng kalawang. So ang ginawa namin, pinalish namin ng maganda from blade to, ano, from blade to Handel, sabi ko, yung iba nga, nagpapakahirap pang gumawa ng ganyang concept at design. Sabi ko, yan given eh. <laughs> so natuwa ang inay, sinasabi niya, so wala na tayo itatapon. Sabi ko, wala na. At yun din ang sinasabi ko sa mga makers. You need to go out of your comfort zone and think out of the box. 
Is it because if you if you throw one fourth of the molye, thinking na wala nang gamit, ang point ko sa kanila, isipan niyo ng gamit. So ngayon, ang problema na ngayon, madami nagpapagawa ngayon sa abis na may bulutong, wala silang makuhang may bulutong ng molye. Sabi ko, it's a good problem to solve. So this was the third bug dog that we have, we had. And I've seen built uh, uh, builds like this from ano. So parang ginawa lang namin, medyo tactical na yung panara, medyo masculine ang dating. So it's all ano, it's all uh, molly. So yun yung third bug dog. So there were other builds that I've had with Abes until uh, uh, kinokopya na ng ibang uh, Bali houses. Uh, Nag-venture naman ako sa ibang, ano, sa ibang uh, Bali house. Uh, I spoke yung magpinsa na Almazan, Manong Louie, tsaka si Manong Maning. Kasi kay, sayo kay Manong Louie, uh, naglalabas na ang abes ng mga bagong blades. Ang Hiron, they came up with their own designs. I'll show it to you later. Pero sabi ko, yung Almazan nasa traditional pa rin. Sabi ko kay Manong Louie, bakit hindi natin buhayin naman ang mga lumang bahayan? Kasi i, 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 meron kasing event lagi sa Taal na kung saan uh, nagkakameron sila ng offering what they call Fiesta Balisong. And this is offered during the Fiesta, festivity of their santo. Sa puon ng, ng Balisong, nagkakameron sila ng malaking parade, nagkakameron sila ng trading. Sa ko, Manning Louie, i-research ko sa mga kamag-anak namin kung ano pa yung natatandaan ko. And I also inquired with uh, uh, a very well-known Balisong collector si uh, Dandy Alfonso is based in the US. Sabi ko, gusto kong buhayin yung mga lumang bahayan at kung meron kayo dyan na lumang balisong na pwede kong pagbasihan para may reference kami. And Dandy was very gracious to allow me to see his blades. So kami ni Manong Louie nagbuo at alam ko hanggang ngayon, galit pa rin siya sa akin dahil pahirap ng pahirap yung pinapagawa ko sa kanya. We started to reintroduce the what we call the Fiesta Balisong. Yung mga gantong builds nun, nagpapagandahan ang mga bali houses ng itsura. And they are very proud when they accomplish uh, stuff like this. So dito ko na-introduce sa industry yung paggamit ng imedya na ito. Kasi before, one, inch, uh, one centimeter lagi ang kapal. Eh. Sabi ko pwedeng imedya or half a centimeter and it needs to look like uh, what they used to build before. So si Louie Almasan ang unang uh, pumayag na at magalit sa akin dahil masakit sa kamay ito. Pag pinapolish mo na itong maliit na parts na to the grinder hits your hand. Eh. And I understand why it takes a while. So naglabas na kami nung uh, we relaunch the Dibuyod with this housing. Very similar with this one. Uh, so may mga variations na kami ginagawa using uh, materials uh, I supply. And then, ito yung, ganito, before, mabanggit ko lang, before, ganitong klase, Fiesta Balisong na yan eh. Talagang classic na sa kanila yan. Kaya nung nareintroduce namin to, uh, mas, mas maganda na yung, ano, mas maganda na yung concept. Tapos, we kept on building. So, Manang Louie, uh, nakilala talaga siya pagdating sa paggagawa na mga tandang ano at gawin yung mga imposible ay gawin ng common artisans and then sabi ko sana mano in time tanggapin mo rin yung concept na kailangan din natin magtama ng mga ibang blade kasi mapapansin niyo sa industry niya we call tanto pero technically halos hindi naman si itsura so kahit si Manong Luwing yan pumapayag na siya sa akin na maggawa kami ng mga tamang profile katulad nito itinama na namin yung profile file tanto na talaga nang medyo curved yan eh. Tapos gumamit na kami ng mga materials. Sabi ko, kaya kayo nagkaka-mamahal ang cost ng mga buto ng uh, horse bone because you keep on using. Sabi ko, why don't you use the old materials that you used before? So ito, gumagamit na kami ngayon ng colorful na yellowish which is just langka. And then we use the, the same nara. So if people are after the shade of horse bone which is yellow, so sabi ko, find alternatives. And, and, and sa daming langka sa Batangas, sabi ko, patuyin nyo lang na maganda, walang ubos yan. So we introduced the use of other viable uh, materials in, in Batangas, which I know right now uh, people are adapting to different, ano na, different wood 
So yun ang kay Louie, madami pa kaming ginawa pero gusto ko pabibigyan lahat ng opportunity yung bawat body houses. So they cannot claim na may minamata o may pinapersonal ako. I want to help everyone. So ang pasalamat ko na lang, ang Tatay Eli, ang Tay Eli, even before Balisong Patangas, ano na, kaibigan ko na yan dahil siya yung gumagawa ng mga fixed baits ko before eh, when I was starting to collect uh, 15 years ago. Uh, yung uh, I think Jambia tsaka yung Bowie, yung two designs na ginawa ko na up to now is being sold by the Herons. He took, uh, Tay Eli took the call for why can't we design new blades nga? So he, he himself designed his own blades. So tumulong na lang ako sa marketing concept. Na sinasabi ko, huwag kang gawa ng pagkadami-dami, magpa-order ka muna. Ipakita mo isang finished product, let them order, and then you build the blades. Para hindi na stock yung inventory, tapos ibebenta mo lang ng mura. Sabi niya, o oh, nga, no? so ang ginagawa ni Tay Eli, which is very smart, he builds six blades and then sells it. And he doesn't build ang at wala pa order. So yung shelf niya, napupuno lang ng mga fast-moving uh, 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 objects. So yung first ano namin ni Tay Eli na ginawa ay ito. And I think you have one of this. Ito yung Jumbo Barong. Diba? So I'm always a fan of Barong dahil sabi ko, hindi pwedeng pang taga yung ordinary balisong dahil manipis lang yung blade profile. Sabi ko, Tay Eli, gawa tayo nito. Pero gusto ko may touch ng pagka, ano, uh, pagkamoro. So nagpagawa siya ng blade, alam ko, uh, the, the blade I, I know was uh, made out of taal dahil wala pang pwede makapag-forge ng gantong kalapad eh. So he did this and I think it became a bestseller for him. So he kept on designing uh, and even up to now, people runs after his blade. Uh, ito rin, this was the original design of this came from ano, uh, Tobias Sewell. Uh, he was uh, a young uh, collector at that time nag inquire siya naman. Gusto ko rin talagang mag, mag, mag design ng sarili ko. But I'm so much into Voltes 5. Sabi niya, pa, paano ba nag-design? Sabi ko, show me your design. I will tell you whether or not it will create the right balance or whether or not it will be sturdy enough to hold yung, yung pressure at tension pag ginamit mo na. So he sent me a copy of his design. Uh, I gave him a few of my comments. Sabi ko, this will never happen dahil sa drawing madali yan. Pero pag pinagawa mo na yung actual na yan, papatayin ka ng maker dahil sa hirap. <laughs> so, nag-evolve nag, nag, nag na to, nakagawa siya na sarili yung design. Ty Eli was the one who did his Voltes 5. And after a while, ako naman, I, I, I just uh, introduced uh, things that I believe na mas preference ko. So, lumabas yung Voltes 5 Balisong. It's a collector space more than a utility blade. Pero sabi ko nga, hindi mawawalang Voltes 5. And I grew up in that era watching the anime. So I must have this. And what I did is to pair it with, with a sheath na pinagawa ko naman kay Guns Beltran Vestano. So collector's piece na talaga to. And I, hindi na akin to. Inangkin na to ng anak ko eh. Pero sabi ko nga, kung collector kay ng Balisong, you make sure you have this blade, uh, Voltes 5. Dahil hindi na mawawala sa history ang Voltes 5 for being one of the most successful anime. Uh, kaya yan. It goes now with a, with a sheet na Voltes 5. And I just keep this. So, ganun si Tai Eli. He evolved. He came up with his own designs. I have a few of these uh, uh, blades I can find right now. So, alam saying, nag-abes tayo, nagpunta tayo kay Manong Louie, nag-hiron. Ngayon, ang Manong Maning, uh, ang, ang pinsa ng Manong Louie, natutuwa ako dahil si si kapatid na Claymore, collector yan ng mga maliliit na, ano eh, na tactical knives. And he was the one who, who engaged uh, Manong Maning to make for him the 20 inches balistong. So natungkal lang ako doon na meron ng iba na nagdi-design din at nagugustuhan. In fact, ako, nagustuhan ko yung design ni, ni Claymore. Nagpagawa rin ako ng, ng katulad ng sa kanya. So I don't have to do this dahil uh, giving respect tumutulong siya sa pag-design nyo. Madaming lumabas. And these are some ito, ship's foot na kay Claymore na utility or EDC. So I bought some of this. And then sa pag may special bills ako na alam kong si Manny Manny lang yung makakagawa. 
I just keep on engaging. So wala akong ano. This is also uh, uh, man of money style. Go at, uh, benchmark yata to. If I'm not mistaken, kiklaymore na design rin to. Tapos nagpagawa na lang ako ng 24 for me. So si Manong Maning, si si Manong Leo at ang Atilisa Villanueva of Rivera and Villanueva's Balisong, kinausap ko sila, but they were saying, Mon, gusto ko talaga, I stick with the classic designs. So ayaw ko nang mag-venture. Although nakikita, ko, nakikita nila na nakikreate ng added skills, uh, Manong Leo, tsaka si Atilisa sabi niya, which I said, new opportunities and new ideas, which I think we lack dito sa, sa, sa industry. Uh, so they maintain that. Tapos after that, I visited uh, Manong Dado. Hindi uh, na ako tandaan ng Manong Dado, eh, pero nung araw, dalagdala lang ako ng father ko dyan. Eh. Sabi ko, tandaan niyo pa ba ako? Hindi na. So kung di man, pamanuhin niyo na lang ako, then I introduced. Then he said that, uh, ako talaga, I stick to, to, to my big design. So, uh, kung meron man bago, konting-konti lang, pero hindi na siya masyadong nagbubuo and, and most of his builds. So, ito, tanda ko pa, pinakita ko sa kanya. Sa ko, Manang Dado, ito pa yung Luman 24 nyo na binigay sa akin. Ang difference lang nito, the pins of this uh, build are bigger. And when you talk about quality build, yung maker ni Manang Dado is really one of the best wala kang makikita ng nakangiti na, na part talagang tuwid na tuwid dyan. Pag binagsak mo to, kitang kita, kita, kita mo sa kasentrohan. Tapos, uh, all the pins and all the materials. And this was an old, ano, this was an old build pa. Matagal na to eh. Kasi kung makikita mo, dalawang, dalawang panara pa lang to eh. Nung araw, sinasabi ng mga makers yan eh. Pag dami ng pins dito, ibig sabihin, hindi ka pumipili ng tamang part ng sungay. Kaya yan nagwa-war. Kaya yung naglalagay ng pin sa gitna. Ayun nila, yung matatandang gawa, dalawa lang dapat yan. Dahil sa katuwiran ko kukuha. Pero back in time, we have so many supply for, no, for sungay. Ngayon, mahal na eh. Parang 100 to 130 na yata. Tapos ilan lang ang mapapakinabangan mo doon. Ngayon, kung siguro, siguro ma maano ko na lang, part pa ng initiative, nung nagawa na namin yung mga improvements, uh, I ventured into engaging other artisans outside of Taal uh, because there are collectors I know who are more fancy like me. I, I love to keep on exploring. So yung ginawa namin before na Hinalong, this is the Hinalong Balisong. Abis ang gumawa nito. So may, may navel. Nung araw, ang unang gawa namin ito, we used the banig-banig lamang. Pero hindi ako masaya, hindi mo kang Hinalong eh. So I kept on exploring for other artisans who could make this right. And then nakita ko si Efren uh, Guevara, magaling na artisan yan sa resin. Eh. Sabi ko, bro, dapat magmukhang hinalong talaga to. So what he did is to embed the rattan woven thingy uh, inside the resin. So it became more authentic. Tapos hindi pa rin ako masaya. Uh, meron pa rin kami ginawa na ilan na Siguro a few, a two, two more of the, the good builds. Yung eto, I think you have this. Magaling si Efren dito eh. Magaling niya maglagay ng glow in the dark. And I used to work in the Samicon industry. So yung mga blades na nakukuha ko, pinapakonvert ko na lang na ano, malagyan ng glow in the dark. And then meron kami isa dito na may tela kong extra ng uh, yakan na tela. So, yung isang build na this is a kampilan so pinaconvert ko yung ano so i'm just telling the collectors that there are outside of tangas from a skill standpoint or sa kapang sarili mo but in terms of what you have now siguro mas masaya ka na itago to so very few of this kinonvert and the reason why i did that is to introduce lang to the community, to the industry, that if there are hard to find scales or scales that you're not familiar with making, there are other artisans outside of Taal that you can tap, you can pay for, but the customers just engages you. So parang magkameran silang fresh idea na, eh gustong ipalagay ng lokong-lokong yan, maong, parang ganun eh. 
Maong na may tag ng Levi's, hindi namin kaya. Hindi nyo kaya. Pero may ibang taong kayang gawin yan for the right price. So, mag-markup kayo. So, ngayon, si Avis, uh, na, na tinatanggap yung concept ngayon, pero wala pa akong nakikita na sarili nilang mismang sila yung nag-engage aside from the ones I referred. Pero sabi ko, it's a niche that has not been tapped yet capitalized on those. Ngayon, ang ini-introduce na namin would be would be ano um uh, yung collaboration na hindi pa lang 4 months na namin tinatapos ni Manong Luwi yung Moro Balisong ko what i did is that i tapped uh, si bro, si kapatid na si June Kempe ng Sulu Utak Shop so what he did for me i asked him to build me three pieces of the classic Moro blades uh, that's the kris pira and barong ang bahaya naman nito ngayon pinapagawa ko kay Manong Luwi and Fourth month na. Pero pangako sa akin, November 15. Uh, matatapos daw niya. Sana. <laughs> Sana. Dahil uh, mahirap, maganda. Pero ang gusto ko lang i-introduce sa community, yung mga hard to find blades na gusto ng mga collector, huwag niyong ayawan. Kailangan lang kayo makakilala ng tamang partner niyo. So what I did, so kung gusto nila ng Moro, ito si na Bro Kempe. So kung gusto mong Bicol, kami ni uh, Elmer, gawa kami ng uh, palas. So lalabas na rin yung uh, Balisong Palas. Ang nagawa naman ng bahaya nito would be a best. Uh, ang gumawa ng blade, yung nag-ukit, yung nagawa ng scale na may ukit din na people, si Elmer. So hopefully within November, malunch namin yung mga collab. And the last collab I had uh, was the one with uh, Sarizal, Sinanduki. I don't know if you're familiar with that knife. It's the only fighting knife of Rizal. So ang gumawa niyan under my group would be Takbatingan, si Erickson uh, Aragones, yung mga mga Aragones, Joey at Erickson. So they built two blades for me. Uh, dalawa dahil yung isa niyan kay AJ Parehas kami ng Tagarizal. At ang hindi na lang namin nasisimulan would be the one from North. Uh, umuo na sa akin si Brosig. So ang gagawa niya, gagawa siya ng totoong hinalong blade for at size 29. At yung actual na skill na gagamitin namin, uh, It's no longer made of resin. It's made of an actual, ano na, where did I put that? Um, so, this one, actual na rattan na ang gagawin niya dito. So, hindi na namin i-embed sa ano. So, magagawa yan dahil si, wow, uh, si, naigawa ako ng gantong ano ni, ano yan, ni Hanyan Bates. Eh. So, if we can use a very fine material to be woven uh, sa isang wood, and then talagang solid hinalo na yan. So, yun yung mga siguro iniiwan ko after the first year of doing this and venturing and helping the community. Uh, madami pa, madami pang pwedeng gawin eh. Had, had, had Inay Selly did, didn't pass away, ang gusto talaga namin tulong, ang gusto kong personal na tulong sa, sa Barangay Taal would be an, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a balisong arch. Nakausap na namin initially yung uh, barangay captain eh. Uh, Umuo na siya. Ang problema lang namin yung pagpupwestuhan. And Balisong Batangas will fund that. We'll do fundraising for that. And I, I'll be personally spending my money. But I don't mind when I say I'd like to help the community. So that every passerby, pag nakita ngayon yung malaking Balisong, they will stop, get their pictures taken. And then eventually, it's going to why don't we explore and see the stores? Kasi nandun na sila eh. So kung sa Baguio tinigilan natin yung ulo ng leon, <laughs> gusto ko sa Taal, may titigilan silang dalawang lugar na stabil bawat dulo, may malaking balisong na pwedeng magpakuha. And those are just the initiatives of ano. And these are just some of my collections. There are a lot. Siguro, ito, gusto ko lang ma-highlight. This is not a balisong Batangas, but I give respect to a very good artisan, Maho Yuzon. This was his first build when he ventured into balisong making. He called this Raha. And the reason why I, I always capitalize on this because I kept on telling the balisongeros, the makers, na kung kaya ng gawin, naganto ka ganda. Bakit hindi nyo gawin? So, madaming artisans ang tumataas pa ang kilay sa akin ngayon. Pero sabi ko nga, kung ito na nabebenta ng ganong presyo, bakit hindi kayo mag-explore ng high quality na pwede ng export na ano? So. It will take a lot of convincing pa rin dahil alam niyo naman yung artista natin medyo mas iba, may edad pa sa akin, mas matitigas siguro ang ulo or ayaw na mag-take ng risk. But this is what Balisong Batangas is doing. 
slowly influencing the industry. And when they start believing, they reap the rewards. We don't ask anything in return. It's pure help. Uh, selfless service lang talaga. That's where we stand in some of my collections. I will stop because there are a lot. Uh, at least nakita nyo na lahat naman natulungan ng Balisang Batangas. Wala kaming sinino. Meron lang nagsasabi na ayaw namin. We agreed with that. And we will keep on doing this as a group. And we've just had our first November 2. And so, mayroong matulungan. Yun po. All right. That was, I know, that was uh, mind-blowing, actually. Grabe, <laughs> ang dami talagang improvements. Eh, basically, parang the only thing that's holding uh, people back now is the limit of their creativity. Uh, everyone's thinking out of the box and it's because of that initiative it's really beautiful and i have to say na you know you have you have my support 100% and i hope it it, it blossoms further from from this from the day that i joined that group to now parang ang laki na ng improvements and i know there's a bigger future to that um so yeah i, I think for now like you said, no, I don't think we can run through the hundreds of balisangs that you have. Um, but we can have several other chats eventually. Uh, but for now, I'm happy to see um, the initial ones that you are producing. And um, yeah, I, I guess that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time, sir. And uh, I'll chat with you again soon. Thank you, sir. Wow, 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 wow.